just examples of that. We are back with Candy Corn. And uh, Candy Corn is one of many kittens here in the shelter. And you can see her name is quite suitable for the season, for her coloring. Um, but we were just talking about the naming of kittens and it can be a challenge. In between April and October, we get over a thousand kittens at Frederick County Animal Control. And our foster homes are very uh, commonly the ones who are charged with naming the kittens. So they do a great job of theme naming litters and picking famous characters to name their kittens after. But at some point, we have had to think up 11 unique names. I mean, a thousand unique names. So, um, or 1100 is what I was gonna say. But it can be, um, it can cause repeats, which we're about to show you in, in just a moment. So Candy Corn, in keeping with a Halloween theme and her color, is available for adoption. What you should think about if you're gonna get a kitten is supervision. Kittens need a lot of supervision. We recommend putting them in the bathroom for a week, but you need to be able to go in there and play with them a lot so that they'll be social and feel safe and entertained. But once you let them out, there is some diligence on your part that's required to keep them from doing something crazy and also to teach them what behavior you expect in your home. And uh, once you get through that stage, you're gonna end up with a lovely companion. But doing the work is pretty important and you have to know that you're ready. Sometimes people think, oh, the kids will do it. No, they won't. So one of the things you need to think about if you're gonna get um, a pet is that it has to be your pet first. By all means, you should encourage your kids to help and they get a lot out of it uh, responsibility-wise and experience-wise. But since children are forgetful, we always recommend that they not be set up to lose their pet because they were irresponsible. It's not a good way to teach them to strive for better responsibility in the future because for kids, the loss of a pet can be pretty traumatic um, and they have a hard time understanding the uh, lines between an animal family member and a human family member. And what I mean by that is if you are teaching them that should the pet become a burden, the pet can go to the shelter. Um, it doesn't set a good example for the standards of uh, what you'll do for family members to keep them. So mixed messages uh, to the kids we don't want. And uh, certainly they should and can help with the um, care of a pet. You just need to make sure that you know in the end the responsibility is yours or perhaps wait until they get their own apartment and let them get their own pet and let them have their own consequences.